Welcome back to my third vlog where I am going to be analysing four lines in more depth and the specific audience it is aimed at. I shall start off with a theory idea. There are a number of theories, academic ideas, about why audiences consume media products. John Hartley 1987 and Lenang 1991 suggested that the producers create invisible fictions or imaginary entities before creating a media product to help the audience enjoy the movie. An example of a Four Lions viewer, J. 18 loves watching warp comedy movies. He's a huge fan and then goes on to inform all his mates about the particular films he watches to try and amuse them and help to encourage them to watch them too. His hobbies are watching movies, listening to rap music such as Jay-Z, playing sports and video games such as FIFA and Grand Theft Auto. He also enjoys spending time with his girlfriend and he still lives with his parents. Jay is fanatical about Four Lions. He watches it as often as he can and uses some of the dialogues used within the film with his mates. Although Jay loves movies and after watching a range of other companies he still feels that no other company can beat warp films. He is cool, calm and relaxed. Still at university he thinks himself as a young city man with the whole life ahead of him and he dreams of becoming an actor himself one day influenced by the characters of four lions. He tends to wear casual clothing, nothing too flashy, just a hoodie and jeans as he tries not to attract attention to himself. Moving on to gender. The gender of these films is predominantly males. We know this because the amount of guns that have been used to represent stereotypically male dominance and the lead roles consist of only males. I shall now talk about the basic narrative. The narrative of this film is a black comedy about five British wannabe terrorists and bombers made up of fools who want to be known as martyrs but really have no idea of what they are actually doing. The group has a leader which is Omar. He thinks he's a know-it-all and always right. Then the second member, Waj, who portrays himself as very dumb and is the weak link of the group. The third member, Bari, he's bad-tempered and is a convert as he has converted to Islam. Faisal is the fourth member who has lost the plot and tries to train cows as he thinks they can be used as bombers. The final member is recruited by Bari. His name is Hassan, who is reluctant to join at first. As you can see, this film is aimed at males, but in terms of a percentage, I would say it is aimed at 75% males and 25% females. I think this because there is use of guns, violence and swearing, so a rocket launcher is more likely to appeal to a male over a female. Another way to distinguish the male dominance theory in this film is the use of props in this film. For example, there are many weapons such as a gun rocket launcher. These are held by males and is aimed at a male audience. It connotes their dominance. The use of weapons during the film allows us to connote from this that there will be some form of violence during the film, which again is aimed at the males. The main violence comes during the end of the film when they start to blow themselves up at the Great London Marathon. First to blow himself up is Hassan. He hands himself in to the police and the rest of the characters run away. The second to blow himself up is Barry. In a comedic fashion, as he gets something stuck in his throat and somebody squeezes him to try save him, not realising he has a bomb. And the third to blow himself up is Omar, as he just gives up and finally Baj, he has no idea what to do and is confused and again in a comedic fashion kills himself. As we can see, this film has violence and graphic scenes, therefore it's BBFC. British Board of Film Classification is a 15, meaning suitable for 15 years and above. Taking this into consideration, I would say this film is aimed at 15 to 35 year olds, with the sense of humour and action being used because they would more than likely not get offended and upset by some of the scenes. Another reason it is aimed at males from 15 to 35, it's the Dennis McQuail theory. 
He said there are four reasons that people consume media products. Firstly, surveillance, which means people find out news which can link in with four lions as people get to find out about different cultures and religion within the films as the characters in the film are Muslims. Secondly, escapism, which means to get away from the real world to relax. This is true as the use of comedy in this film would help to take off people's minds any stress from work or even the students at college. Thirdly, building personal identity, which means people use media personalities as role models. This is the main one in this particular film, as phrases like rubber dinky rapids are still used throughout and people copy phrases which people widely know which links with the fourth point of building personal relationships, which means provides a topic for conversation and again in this film is a big talking point within friends, whether it's the comedy used or even the action. Another reason to watch this film is because it is a warp production film and warp over the years have produced hits such as Dead Man's Shoes and This Is England would also influence viewers to watch the film as the company has a good history of making films for that particular age group. The film includes Todorov's theory. 1997 as we see stage one the equilibrium it starts off with a guy with a gun in his hand in a comedic fashion as he is meant to be acting as a dumb blonde but a male version then we don't see any disruption the disequilibrium there is no sign of stage three which would be action taken against the disequilibrium and this movie finishes we see parts of stage four the restoration meaning all balance is restored however the film is left on a cliffhanger as all the men end of committing suicide but we don't know what happens after this it, because it could be for a sequel this links with the age rating 15 as they would have to aim all of these stages at the particular audience finally i shall talk about nrs nrs means national readership survey and it is a separate organization specializing in demographic information it provides estimates of the number of people who watch a particular film and read a particular magazine or newspaper which then helps other companies to aim their products at a particular class of people therefore after evaluating all this film i've come to the conclusion that it can be aimed at all the nrs social and lifestyle grades however the main social grades this film has been aimed at is an estimated 60% of a C1, lower middle class, a C2, skilled working class, a D, working class and finally E, those at lowest level of substance. The lifestyle profiles consist of A to K, from A being the best achievers and K being unclassifiable. Taking all of this into consideration, I would say E, urban ventures who are young city people and I hard press families who are the families who earn minimum wage I think this because it is a war movie and they are always a low budget production company and usually aim for lower class and younger people we know this is a low budget within the clothes that have been worn as they are casual clothes which all the characters are wearing also, the use of lighting is a low key and not very glamorous. This is for very similitude appeal. An example of this in the film is in the opening location. We see all the characters go into a house and the house is not high class. From inside, it looks like a typical student house, messy and small. Thank you for listening again.